Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. My name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment and also each message on my Instagram. And if you are wondering again, why is that? Because simply, I'm working for you. So this is a video that I really have been hesitate to make. Not because I don't want to share the trick, but because I'm saving it for the good days. And what I mean by the good days is the good where my videos get some attraction basically. Because right now I post some really cool tricks and then some things that helped me in my journey to make more money and to succeed in my e-commerce and affiliate marketing and a lot of stuff. However, when I post that video, I only get like 100 views and 7 likes. Imagine that. 100 people saw the video and only 7 pressed the like button. So that didn't help my videos to get more attraction, obviously. I don't know if I'm not a good speaker or my videos are bad, I mean in terms of production. Or my tricks are bad. I don't know it, what what the case here, but hopefully, and lucky you, I did give up on that. So I'm not waiting for the good days to share my good tricks. I'm gonna share them anyway. And in this video, I will share my trick on how I find my competitors target audience on Facebook ads. And this trick did help me a lot. And as I said, I've been saving it for the good days, but Screw that, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna share it anyway. And yes, I mean it in this video. I'm going to show you a special trick, my trick, how I find the target audience for my competitors on Facebook ads. And I do not use any tools or anything like that. The only thing I use is Facebook ad library. And this is a hidden trick, not that many people know. And also it's really special and simple. And you will get to know the target audience for uh, your competitor on Facebook ads based on the country where they promote their products or services and also the city and yes i'm really serious i'm going to show you how to know your competitors target country or even the city and i know another trick on how figure out the interest of my competitors on facebook ads i'm really serious however that trick i cannot make it worked on on every competitor some competitors works on them and some not so i'm gonna be patient until i figure out a workaround and i always do and i will post a video on how to know your competitor target interests so please if you want to motivate me to share all my tricks hit that like button i would really appreciate it and without any more talking let's just get to it so as i said i'm not gonna use any tools or anything like that the only thing i'm going to use is actually Facebook ad library and from Facebook ad library I'm going to figure out the target country and also the city of my competitor which is in this case I don't have a competitor yet but I'm going to go for a random niche or random keyword and I'm going to do demonstration on that just like I usually do in my videos because all my videos are in action I do not script or anything like that so let's just get to it so I'm going to access as I said, Facebook ad library. And here we are on Facebook ad library. Uh, for the country, I'm going to go for all just to give me more options to show you what I'm about to show you. And also all ads. So from the search bar right here, I'm going to go, as I said, for a random niche or random keyword or a product. And I will do demonstration on. So I'm think I'm talking and I'm thinking out <laughs> right now, what should I go for? Uh, uh, it's freezing right now. I know it's snowing a lot in a lot of countries shoes i'm going to go for snowshoes so i'm going to type in snow so facebook ad library did show me right now 1900 results and they all have to do with two keywords the first one is snow the second one is shoes so just from the picture or products here you can tell this actually has to do with the with the snowshoes as you can see yeah i saw this product before this is not the, the shoe itself this is actually a grip that you can attach to the shoe at the bottom of the shoe it will help you uh, walk or hike or mountains that has snow or uh, hills that has snow and so on. Um, this is actually a good product. I saw this before and I saw uh, a guy that's making really good profit from this kind of products because they are easy to ship and they are they don't cost that much. Also, the product they don't cost that much are actually the more profitable, so they have higher margins. So let's just go for this one. Actually, I don't know. This is. Yeah, yeah, let's just go for this one. So the, let's just say this is my competitor. I do sell uh, snowshoes and this is my competitor. But right now I need to find where this guy or this girl or the, this brand in general, where they do targets and where they sell these shoes the most. So when I make my store and I start promoting the same product as them, 
I can target the same audience they do target. And the first thing I'm going to do is check out their ads, which is view ads. So as you can see right now, we have 16. It does sell, uh, says 16 results here. And these, they are not somehow showing 16. This is only eight. Anyway, so uh, they all start running on uh, 11 January. As you can see, the first one, 11, the second one and so on. This one on 12. January and all the others are 11 January and still active so it's not really safe to say they are testing because uh, as you can see they have two ad sets use the same creative and text for each ads as you can see here so they may have made some sales and so I don't know this is just for demonstration by the way this is another subject for another video <laughs> anyway so as I said I want to sell this snowshoes and I need to figure out where they do promote those ad sets so I need to know the country and also the city when they run those ads so right now we do have an idea about what kind of products or the interest of their target audience which is hiking shoes snow all of that based on the product obviously the next thing as i said figure out which country they run the ads and also which city and to do that i'm going to head over to this part right here where it says all ads right here so i pick all ads and if i did go to mexico for example and all ad categories i'm going to go for all ads let's just reaccess the page again from here okay it says zero results not because this page does not run ads at all it just means that they don't run ads in mexico which does make sense there is no snow in mexico so why would anyone sell snowshoes in mexico it doesn't make sense uh, okay how about canada let's just go for canada canada all ads let's just reaccess the page again eight so they run eight ads in Canada as you can see here so we know they don't run it in Mexico but do they do run it in Canada let's just go for Sweden Sweden have a lot of snow right uh, all ads again let's just we access the page zero they don't run ads in Sweden let's just access Norway Norway have snow as well they don't run ads in Norway let's just get back to the most famous country which is the United States I think United States, they might run some ads in United States, I'm not sure. They should actually. Yes, they do. As you can see, 16 ads, they're running them in United States. So right now, we have two target countries, Canada and United States. We did pick the countries, they, they have snow, but they don't run ads on them. So we know they don't run ads in United States and Canada. We know which country our competitor run ads for. The next step is, as I said, if figure out the city where exactly or which city they do promote their products and to know that i'm going to simply access their facebook page let's just hold over with the mouse over the name and click on go to page and here we are or we are on the facebook page we are oh they have actually reviews we will get back in a second because i know not every page on facebook have reviews so after i did access the facebook page the first thing i'm going to do is check out their post so as you can see one hour ago so they are pretty uh, active so they they do post on facebook and so on i'm going to scroll to find a post that have some likes or engagement this one has five let's just go for this one what i'm going to do is click here to check out the people who like it the, the post and we have five people that that like it the post so the first one let's just check oh it says they live in saint Albans, vermont Vermont is think is a state in the United States. It's the north in the north part of the United States. I think so. Anyway, we we will check that in a moment. So the first person we know they live in Vermont. Let's just take the second person here. Also, this one in Vermont. So we know the second person they did like the post is from Vermont. Check the third person. This one doesn't say, but he he mentions the school. Let's just copy the name google search engine as i said every information is available online so okay check this out <laughs> so this school is in vermont as well so three people right now are from vermont this one doesn't say this third one or the last one the five the fifth one sorry is also in vermont so right now four out of five people 
they live in Vermont that like it the post. So let's just check where Vermont is actually because I know it's in the United States in the north part of the United States. Yeah, as you can see, it's close to Canada. It's by the border actually of Canada. So they do have a lot of snow there. And we know that this page is actually promoting and we can go deeper. As you can see, 10 people liked this post. Also, this is a new person that living in Vermont as well. And the same city. I did find another person lived in Bristol, I think. Here it is. The, the person here, we did find it from the previous post, lives in the same city. So we have two persons lived in the same city. And so on. If you dig deeper, you can hit the jackpot where exactly they promote their products and this trick will always work and it did always work for me and as i said i was hesitant to share this trick because i was saving it for the good days however screw the good days and here you go so if you did like this trick help me out pressing that like button i would really appreciate it and it would help me share even more tricks that i know Otherwise, I think my job is done. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them below or check out my Instagram right here below me. And thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.